we're going to do a fast math lesson today. We're going to talk about um, double digit um, or two digit, I should say, compatible numbers. A little more advanced than some of the other videos, but um, kind of an interesting thing here. So let's look at this problem. If you are the type of person that needs to write this down like this to do it, the type of student, I want to show you maybe a more interesting, an easier way to think about it. There are a lot of students that just, they, they've been taught to do column addition. I like to call that robot math, where you're just doing what you've been told, but you're not really thinking about the best way to do it. You're just thinking, I'm going to do it the way my teacher told me. And that that's okay, but, um, you know, math is pretty creative. Um, and if you know what addition is, it's groups. And you can do it in any kind of order, really, when you're, um, you know, you're doing math. And a lot of great math, uh, speed math um, people, fast math people, don't start on the right. They start on the left. And if you think about it, which is more valuable, this number or this number? Well, some of you might be saying that's a 1, but no, 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 no. That's a 10 and that's a 7. So let's look at this. Some people kind of go um, 3 plus 2 is 5 and 5 is 7 and that's uh, 12, and I put down a 2 and carry the 1, and eeks, that is not a 1, and then they got 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 4, and the answer is 42. Yes, you can get there, but is there a faster way? Let's look up here, and first of all, I would challenge you to start thinking of these numbers as what they actually are. Now, I'm going to write this down, but when you get good at this, you won't, you won't write this stuff down. You'll just do it in your head. Your brain will kind of put these numbers in categories automatically. So let's think of these as what they are, 10, 10, and 10. Now let's look what's left. Oh, look, if you run any of the other lessons on compatibles, there's, there's a couple compatible numbers here. And compatible numbers are numbers that make 10s. So if you look here, a 7 and a 3, that's a 10. And... Now you could just, and I know this looks like a lot of work, but really it is a lot faster once you train your brain to do this, and you can do it without paper and pencil, believe it or not. I know it looks like a lot of work, but really your brain will start to look at it like this. Um, so if you just count the tens now, you got 10, 20, 30, 42, and there's your 42 getting you to that answer. Um, just kind of a different way to look at it, but... Uh, I really think from the mistakes, when I see students that have trouble in math, it's because they don't understand the value of these type of numbers. They, they call this a 4, they call this a 2, and that, when you get into trickier numbers, can cause some real confusion. This way of doing it gives you something called number sense. It gives you a, you start to look at the value of numbers and you get to see their deeper meanings, and you really start to invent your own systems for adding and subtracting and multiplying, which is really, really important. 